Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Hunter where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest, but what I'm going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So we are looking at Trippin, that's the name of the project, and so they do have a pre-sale coming up, so we're going to take a look at that right away. And uh, so here is their pre-sale page. So we can see we've got, uh, this is upcoming, we've got just over 12 hours before this goes live. We can see the badges here, Seifu audited in KY. Seed. So as far as the audit, it did pass with some issues, or actually just one issue, medium severity issue that was highlighted in the audit findings on initial asset distribution. So you can just go ahead and click on the badge, you know, to go ahead and take you over to the details for the audit, but I will go ahead and leave the link, you know, for it in the description below. So they are not photodocs, um, but they do have a certificate of KYC, and this is a Trinos contract. So you guys may have heard me talk about Trinos in the past, you know, in association with other projects, you know, so he is known in the crypto space so it says to travel around the world with Trippin but this trip will be in the metaverse world where you can easily visit the world sites and walk the streets of distant cities just travel with us and earn while traveling NFT marketplace trip to earn metaverse Seifu audit KYC and the listings on CMC and CoinGecko so all right we got a video here that you guys can engage with but you guys know we don't go ahead and play videos on the channel as we're doing exploration of projects they do have a 50 BNB you know soft cap as this is a fair launch you know so just be aware of that and then we see liquidity lockup time of 365 days after the pool ends and the token metrics are as outlined below or right here no issues there for me personally all right they've got some documentation here so a quick read you know it's just 10 pages you know so just taking you through some of that you know what the um, what the slides look like you know here as far as this is concerned you can see the total supply is going to be 100 million and uh, we can see the roadmap here so five different phases here as mentioned a uh, pre-sale pancake swap listing uh, marketing campaign commences we'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger um, let's see here <clears throat> with utility build up buyback and burns metaverse and nft plan starting and the listings you know for cmc and cg and i've mentioned this many many times before you know unless you're pre-listed doesn't really make any sense to mention that you're listing because um, you know, once you submit the application, I mean, you just don't know when CMC or CoinGecko is going to actually put you on their site. So that's just my feedback there. Starting utility earning, another marketing campaign, marketing partnerships, you know. They mentioned marketing, you know, what, here, you know, here and here. Once you mention marketing one time, you don't really need to mention again, in my personal opinion. Preparation for NFT and Metaverse launch. Dex listing V2 on the website, introducing the run to earn, Metaverse spaces, Final touches, and then we see here in phase four beta testing of metaverse virtual trips, public release of metaverse and NFTs, marketing proceeds to boost metaverse efficiency. Again, you don't need to re mention marketing. Influencers brought on board to test virtual trips, and then here in phase five, they say they're going to be doing an update. So, is that an update? Is it, is it a V2? Is it an extension of the roadmap? Is there more development? You know, so curious, you know, to actually get some clarification on what this is. If the team happens to come across the part you know, this video, they could certainly go ahead and engage in the comment section and let me know exactly, you know, what are you doing here as far as an update? So, and then we see here some you know, tokenomics, you know, but some of this information, in my personal opinion, you know, if we look back up here to slide five, looks exactly the same, you know, so I don't know that we're, this is on the ecosystem, and then this is, you know, they're saying tro tokenomics, but... Um, if we go back here, it doesn't give us additional information there, but it does give us a breakdown here, um, you know, on the, as far as the tax, you know, uh, is concerned, but there is very similar information between um, what we saw on the ecosystem and then what we see here, you know, on the tokenomics side. So, and then they take you to the last slide, so that's it, going to be it on the, on the paperwork, on the documentation. Main page we see here, um, you know, all the links they've got associated with the navigation bar. Audit button, trip now button, white paper. Interestingly enough, this is not spelled correctly on the button. Now, you know, we are going to be doing a private consultation you know, assessment service next month, starting with that. And this is the kind of stuff we would highlight to projects that they need to go ahead and fix, you know. So, but just stating it out to you guys as you're engaging with this video, you know, this is just something in my personal opinion that is, you know, just a lack of paying attention to the details, which is what we hope to accomplish, you know, through that service that I mentioned launching next month. So, all right, um, let's see here. We can see how to buy. You know, they tell you with Trust Wallet, you know, PooCoin, other options they see are coming soon, you know, what it, what this is. And they give you some information here. Again, we can see my paper's not spelled correctly. Tokenomics, so the breakdown is going to be 35% going to pre-sale, 20% to liquidity, 5% to burn. 
5% to trip and team, 5% to marketing, 25% to utility, and 5% to the centralized exchange reserve. And then we can see the competitive benefit, safe and secure, NFT marketplace, passive income, liquidity locked, charity wallet, and metaverse trip. So the timeline, which is basically, you know, their roadmap, we've already gone ahead and taken a look at that in their documentation. And we can see here, at least they've got something checked off here. So I can only hope that as they continue on with the project and its development and, you know, um, coming into the pre-sale and post-launch, that they'll continue to go ahead and check things off because I think that's a good sign, you know, to anybody taking a look at a project and their roadmap to see that the team is staying connected to that roadmap and checking things off as they complete the you know, items on the roadmap. So, but beyond that, um, I would say that it would be helpful to know exactly, you know, what's currently in process, like what are they working on real time, you know, right now on the project and what's pending and ongoing. I do like the fact that they do indicate some kind of update here. I just like to see this further clarified. And then I also want to know, as far as like timelines, you know, are we still going to be here in 2022, you know, when we get to Q5 or are we going to be in 2023? So indicating, you know, that adjusting these Q1, Q2 and so forth to indicate what months are we in, what year are we in, you know what I mean? All right, and then we see here information in regards to the Arctic KYC and Seifu, and gives you an opportunity here to go ahead and download the white paper, at least they spelled it, they spelled it correctly here, which is good, and then we're basically at the end of the website, you know, so, so yeah, that's going to do it for me in regards to this project. If you guys are interested in taking a closer look at it, by all means, make sure that you're engaging with other content creators that may be talking about the project as well. Get as many details as you can so that you are truly informed about the project as you consider, you know, uh, leaning into it or not, as you put together a more complete picture as to, you know, what this project really is all about. So thank you so much for watching. I'll leave the links relevant to the project in the description below. And ladies and gentlemen, you all enjoy the day.